Hi, I'm Justin from T2K, and in this video, we will be taking a look at the basic call handling functions of 3CX using the new Windows Soft Phone app that you can download from the Microsoft Store. Hopefully, you've already watched our orientation video on the Windows Soft Phone, but if you haven't, the link to watch that video is in the top right hand corner of your screen now. OK, let's get started. I'll open up the 3CX soft phone and the first thing I can see here is the keypad. To make a call to an outside party, I can click on the numbers using my mouse or simply enter the digits using the number keys on my computer keyboard with the soft phone window in focus. If I make a mistake when I'm entering the number, I can either click the delete button or tap delete on my computer keyboard. Once the number is entered, I click the green button to make the call. 3CX has an integrated contacts directory. If I click on the contacts icon, I can see a list of all the names and numbers stored on the system. If you have many contacts, use the search box at the top to narrow down the results like this. If I click on the contact, I will now see all of their details and I can click on the number I wish to reach to immediately call them. If you just have one number registered against the contact, you can click the call button. Another option from the contacts list is to right click the contact and select call. This will immediately call them. Calling your colleagues is best done from the team page. So let's click on team. Here I can see all of my colleagues on the 3CX phone system. As with the contacts page, if I have a lot of colleagues, I can type in the search box to filter down the results. You can see the availability of your colleagues within this window, so you know that if they're showing us on a call or are in do not disturb, you should wait a little while until they're free. If however, you can see they're available, simply click on their row to instantly call them. When you receive an inbound call, you'll hear the phone ringing and a Windows notification will appear in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. On this notification, you can see details of the caller and you have the option to answer the call by clicking the blue button, declining the call or sending the call straight to your voicemail. If I receive a call via a queue, you can see that the name of the queue will appear on the incoming call, so I'm aware of the origins of the call. If you have the soft phone still open when you receive an incoming call, you'll see the details of the call there too. You can answer the call on either, whichever is most convenient to you. Once you answer the call, the soft phone window will now appear. Starting at the top, you can see the details of the caller. In this case, I can see the callers come from extension 304, Mr. Strong. I can also see the current duration of the call. Underneath the call details, you will find the call control buttons. To put Mr. Strong on hold, I press the hold button. You'll see that it goes blue to indicate the call is now on hold. To resume the call, click the hold button again. Pressing the mute button will prevent Mr. Strong from hearing me. I can still hear him and this is very useful, for example if I need to sneeze, cough or consult with a colleague without putting the caller on hold. On the bottom row, you'll see the record button. Depending on your company's policies and your permissions, you may be able to pause and resume call recording. If the record button is blue, this means your call is currently being recorded. If permissions allow, click the button and the blue will disappear. This means that the call is not currently being recorded. I can then click again to resume recording. The keypad button enables me to enter DTMF touch tones. For example, if I call a company and have to make a menu choice or enter an account number. When entering digits on the keypad, you can either click with your mouse or use the number keys on your computer keyboard. To return to the call control buttons, click on the return arrow at the bottom right. The video button will turn an audio call into a video call, but this will only be available if both parties are using 3CX and are also using devices that support video calling, such as the soft phone, PWA or smartphone app. As Mr. Strong is on a desktop phone, you'll see this feature is not currently available. As you can see, there are other buttons here for features such as new call, conference and transfer. We're not going to cover those in this video, but please do take a look at our other videos, in particular the video on transferring calls, for more information. 
And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please do take a second to click the like button. And why not subscribe to our channel? We're adding new videos every week that will help you get the most out of your phone system. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified each time a new video is released. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.